The general essay paper is a very important component of civil service mains examination. Unlike other papers, this paper, the way of preparation is, of course, slightly different. The 250 marks of this paper is crucial by determining one's rank. And today we have Anshu Wilson, who scored 149 in this paper, which is one of the highest scores in the country. So let's talk about the process of preparation and writing of this general essay paper today. So first of all, I would uh, like to know how exactly one should go about the preparation part of this essay. Uh, so ma'am, uh, it was my second means this year and the first means I had scored 120 marks. Uh, and the first means I had gone to the essay paper without much preparation. I mean, I just uh, I went with whatever, I mean, I just thought that it would be a paper where they test your English proficiency and all. So I found that it was not, uh, that it was not the case uh, in my case last year. So this year actually, uh, how I uh, modified my preparation was that I uh, took some uh, time to collect some quotes. I mean, because we can read the previous year question papers and there is a, a clear pattern to what the questions that they ask. There's usually a philosophical essay and then there is another uh, essay on a social or economic or scientific topic. So for that, uh, the second type of question, the second type of essays, we usually have a lot of material from our general studies and optional preparation. So what I focused on was that to collect some quotes on the usually asked questions. And also I, I used to write a few essays at home. Like uh, I would like a uh, time, uh, put a time limit of one and a half hours and try to write an essay, a few, like uh, three or four essays. I mean, that was the maximum I wrote at home also. So for the content part, as you said, the most of the things will be, you know, covered while you prepare for your general studies and documents. And uh, yes. what about the philosophical topics? Like, can anybody do, do anything particular preparation part for writing such type of essays? Um, and what I did was that uh, I took the last year papers and uh, tried to write something on that. And uh, after I, we, uh, I would I would usually try to finish it within that time period because it was difficult for me at first to finish it even within the one and a half hours because I would just uh, think about what to write, how to modify it and will not complete it in the time limit. And so uh, this time, I mean, uh, I just read the essay and after, I mean, wrote the essay and after writing, I tried to go through the essay and try to make a evaluation of, I mean, how much marks I would put for that essay. I mean, I, had, I did not have much idea, but, uh, Sometimes uh, what we write also may also seem very funny to us after writing the essay. So I used to like uh, go through that. Uh, I tried to go through that objectively. I mean, whether it was up to the mark. I mean, how would I? How much marks would I give? So I mean, I did. It, I mean, I tried it with two, three essays on philosophical part. I mean, the technologically economic issues and all. I did not uh, practice writing much. So. Since we have to choose one topic from out of four, how can we go about this choosing part? Because ultimately that also plays an important role, I believe. Um, and what I followed was that, uh, I mean, in the in this section A, in this year's examination, I uh, chose the topic, uh, ships do not sink because of the water around them, ships sink because of the water that gets into them. So how I chose that topic was that I, I had a few, I mean, I could uh, write a few stories as introduction and all. I mean, that's what I usually see. I mean, if I can, uh, I, do, I have a interesting introduction in my hand on any topic. I mean, I cannot make up introductions at that time. But the rest of the body and all, maybe if we think of a uh, thing like five, uh, 10 to 15 minutes, we can, uh, we can think of something. But the introduction part, it has to be like really nice. So. Uh, I had a good introduction for that essay, so I chose that one. So that's one aspect, like uh, 
something which you can connect more and you can come up with a nice introduction. That's one way of choosing it. Yes. And uh, since you mentioned about introduction, how important it is? I mean, can you elaborate a bit on that? Uh, Ma'am, uh, one essay, uh, we usually have to write about 11 to 12 pages. It's uh, 100 for 125 marks. So if a person is going to read uh, like 10, more than 10 pages of your written work, I mean, the first page has to be really, really catchy. I think that's what I feel. I mean, if the first part is not uh, really interesting for him, maybe maybe they won't be very much interested in what you have written for the rest of the paper also. So I tried to focus on that part. At least, I mean, for the second essay this year, I did not have any story or anything. I wrote an essay on the economic prosperity, social justice. Uh, that topic was what I had chosen. Uh, so I just started with a simple quote on that. So uh, even if you do not have any full length story, at least write a, a, a decent quote to begin with. I mean, that would be more, more interesting. And, uh... After the introduction, of course, the body of content, like uh, seven, eight pages, eight to nine pages, you may have to write on that. So, how exactly were you planning on that? Uh, my planning was that uh, I would I set a plan on for about uh, ten pages, and for the first page, there will be this introduction and all those things, and for the uh, next uh, one to two pages, I would try to give a, a historical timeline. I mean. Uh, for the second essay uh, uh, on social justice this year, I used I, I gave an overview on how economic prosperity and social justice in the in, in the Indian scenario was interlinked. And then uh, for the next four to five pages, uh, I used to uh, focus on all the aspects of a topic: the social aspect, the economic, the political. And for a philosophical topic, it would be better to see it from a positive or a negative uh, viewpoint. I mean. A different viewpoints would be nice. I, we cannot uh, like uh, box it into social, cultural, economic, political all the all the time, but we can bring those aspects if we think about it usually. And then uh, for the final uh, one and a half pages, I used to uh, write the conclusion. While uh, writing about this conclusion part, uh, do you keep anything particular in your mind? Like, is there any particular tips for that? Uh, the conclusion part, uh, I tried to make it coherent. I mean, we would be knowing what we had written for the past eight pages. So like uh, summarizing it and uh, I, it has to be in sync with what we have written for the past eight pages. I mean, uh, and if we can, uh, I don't know, end it with a flourish, maybe bring in another quote, maybe it would be better. I mean, I was not able to bring in, an, bring in a quote uh, in the conclusion in my essays, but uh, I mean, if, even if we summarize it in a brief way, um, it has to look like an integrated whole, the entire essay. So if we if we had to keep that part in mind. And if we finish it with something, I mean, as interesting as the introduction, I think it will be even more, yeah, even more better. So, and uh, how important it is that you read the essay once? Because many a time people who don't practice may not get enough time to do that. Actually, that was what happened with me this year. Actually, last year, last time I did uh, read the essays uh, once before submitting it, but this time I was a little short on time. So I took a uh, like uh, I look I took one one hour forty five minutes for the first philosophy essay. So the next essay was a little uh, I, I went through it in a rush. So I was not able to reread it, and I was a little tense over that also after the exam. Yeah, but like if you start with the philosophical topic, I mean, obviously that's bound to happen because that over, obviously will overshoot the time. So, yes, you are not otherwise, uh, are you into writing anything or uh, this essay writing is the only other like creative writing you do? No, I'm not usually into writing. I read a lot, but writing is not my forte. <laughs> I mean, it, I have never uh, tried essay writing or anything, not even my college or school days. Why I'm asking is this, uh, many people who want to appear for social service may think that you have to be a, you know, experienced writer to score high in this paper. So just wanted a clarification on that. And uh, 
definitely like uh, since this paper is all about your uh, larger reading and your language and everything um, what will you suggest for people who are studying in school and college like can they do anything particular to improve their chances on this paper yeah there are two things i believe first of course is read 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 as much as you can a fiction non fiction anything just i used to read whatever that i could i could get my hand on so just read and on the writing part uh, it's uh, i think it's a, uh, it's good if you start writing i mean some people write uh, diaries every day some people just jot jot down uh, whatever they see so uh, there is a quote by stephen king we write to know what we think so i believe writing uh, makes our even our thoughts more comprehensible to us we can make a sense of what we think so i mean essay paper i believe in my opinion is something a test of how clear we are in our thoughts i mean how clearly we can express our thoughts and knowledge so i believe these are the two things that we can focus upon like uh, when she say about this uh, reading everything you know in general that's actually like i still remember you mentioning about the mirror of fairy seed from harry potter in one of your essays yes. <laughs> i forgot the topic which i gave you but uh, i still remember that uh, you starting it with that particular one so yes. <laughs> that means uh, from the world of fiction as well and uh, generally about things and examples anything but uh, as he said the thing has to be catch so the a catchy introduction a free flowing body followed with the you know proper conclusion that's what it's all about i presume so anyway so it's nothing like too much of you know shortcuts or uh, tips actually why i am talking this is uh, we even had a book i mean i just came across a book saying about uh, how to cheat the examiner to score more in exam i even came across such a book but uh, with the score of people like you i mean it's a relief to see that like you don't need any gimmicks to score well in this paper so thank you very much for sharing your tips with us and uh, i hope it will be very useful for the future